The Texas Championship Open Challenge rolls on here at the Reality of Wrestling. Last time we saw the champion out here, he was challenged by Eric Lockhart. Now tonight, we have no idea who he's going to be facing, and that is what's exciting about an open challenge here, Brad. Yeah, it's hard for the champion, though, to prepare for such a test. It really is, but you know, that's the thing, is Ryan Davidson embodies Texas, and that's why he's the champion, and he is ready for anything. For whoever, wherever, and who is going to be the opponent for Ryan Davidson. Will anyone step up to the challenge? Wait. What? Oh, no. The man who is starting to make waves in the singles division here, Diego De La Cruz, is the one answering this open challenge. And can you imagine? the kind of waves he would make if he wins the Texas Championship here tonight. It would definitely be a solidifying performance for a man who's had quite the career to, to write home about. Diego De La Cruz, one of the best tag team competitors in reality of wrestling history, but a singles championship has eluded him, Brittany Housen. It has indeed, and he's coming in here strapped with that accordion. He might come out of here strapped with the gold, and that would definitely put not only a target on his back, but skyrocket at him to the top. This is the first ever time that Ryan Davidson and Diego De La Cruz are inside the ring against one another in singles competition. You've got to imagine that that's going to be something very interesting. You don't have any kind of history with this man. How are the styles going to mesh against each other? We're going to find out. I mean, it is a rarity here in Reality of Wrestling uh, to have a first ever. And this indeed is the first time ever these two are locking horns, for lack of a better term, Texas title on the line. Diego De La Cruz representing La Familia. Ryan's gonna kill you, Chance. First that I can recall here at the Reality of Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a first, but you know, it's, it's a great warning. They're just trying to be very, very caring to Diego De La Cruz. Caring? Yeah. Okay. Like a little warning. Yeah, like, like, hey, spoiler alert. Here we go. These two men ready to battle it out for the Reality Wrestling Texas Championship. Sign of respect here from both. And I can tell you from personal experience, Diego De La Cruz is not taking this match lightly. Six and a half years ago, when Diego De La Cruz first stepped foot in this building, Ryan Davidson was one of the first trainers to give him his wings here, basically. And now he's battling his mentor. And it is all for the Texas Championship. You know, but that's the thing, Kirby, is when you're battling somebody who's helped train you, they teach you what they know, but they don't teach you all that they know. And Ryan definitely has a long, see, a long-standing training here from Roe and beyond. Just showing all the power is Ryan Davidson, the current Texas champion. And you've got to have some form of guts in you, honestly, to be able to throw out open challenge and say, whoever wants this, come take it from me. This is just a completely different evolved Ryan Davidson that we're seeing here in front of us. These two circling the ring. 
again, a lot of this is going to be a feeling out process, like we mentioned. It's just trying to figure out what's the strategy of the other guy. You see this a lot of the times in MMA or boxing fights. You know, they, the first couple of rounds are going to spend trying to get to know one another. What are you going to go for? What do you favor? What combinations are you looking to throw? And once we figure that portion out, then you start seeing the heavy action. That's what exactly is going on right now in the early goings between Diego De La Cruz and Ryan Davidson. Like you said, with that boxing and MMA, if we were to look at a tail of the tape per se, Ryan definitely has the uphill advantage here. But Diego De La Cruz has something that Ryan doesn't have, and that is, but that is youth, and it is also the ability to be in the ring a lot less. He's taken a lot less hits in his life than Ryan Davidson has. That's a bold claim, Bernie Howell. <laughs> I'm just saying. He is known as the Grizzled Vet for a reason. Here comes Ryan Davidson. Oh! Gets a kick to the gut. Diego using that speed. Oh, oh wow. Look, look, at look at that. Just slams him down. Yanks him out of the midair. Oh, and a kick out right at two. Solid two count from our referee. Just the power of Ryan. Here comes the champion. Starting to get, starting to feel himself here in the oh, 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 oh. See, I told you the power. A lot of power there. I think that may have actually just shooken up. Diego De La Cruz having a hard time getting up after that chop. I think our crowd needs to stop looking away from the match. Oh. Keep, keep wanting people to do it again. It's like they missed it the first time. <laughs> keep I your eyes on the match yeah. and you won't have to see it again. I don't know if they missed it. I think they're just a little, uh, a little sadistic in a way. Well, that is cruel and unusual, and I expect <laughs> nothing less from the fine people of Texas City. We love you, Texas City. We love you, Road Nation. We do. We do. Doesn't mean hell aren't off. Ryan Davidson there in the corner. Some big shots to the dome piece of Diego De La Cruz. Look at that, though. Oh. Oh. Diego ready for it. Drop kick, Bryant Davidson. Trying to take a minute outside the ring, but Cruz. Oh. Oh. Well, he was looking for a big stunt like his cousin Tom Cruise. But it did not prevail and Ryan Davidson is showing why he's still the top gun here at the reality of wrestling oh here we go look at this oh. to the outside well if at first you don't succeed you try and try again say what the hell oh, there he goes to the outside Diego went flying Diego up not to his feet yet though Six here, though, from our official. We need to get this back in the ring. Excuse me, up to count four. Dear De La Cruz using his environment to his advantage, and that's something that you're going to want to do here against Ryan Davidson, especially in a match like this where the championship is on the line. Ryan was giving himself a little space by getting back into the ring and breaking that count, but. Cruz staying on top of him. Oh. Diego oh. Cruz stopping himself. Connects with two different kicks. And now here he comes. Oh, Bulldog. No. For the Texas Championship. Soldiers are down. Only a one count and a huge defiant kick out from the champion. Well, 
right hand from Diego de la Cruz. The challenger bringing it to Ryan Davidson. It is championship week this week on the reality of wrestling. Of course, our main event is going to have Promise Braxton versus Gigi Ray for the vacant Reality Wrestling Diamonds Championship. We saw a successful defense from Ed Stone earlier in the evening, and now Ryan Davidson trying to copy what Stone did and be a successful retainee of his title. But right now, Diego De La Cruz trying to find an opening to really put in some big damage and big offense on Ryan Davidson. You see Ryan getting up a little gingerly, favoring one of those legs. Oh, no. And you can see here now Diego De La Cruz has found his opening. He has found his target. And he's going to go right after that knee. Oh! Honestly, you're just going to anger the bear at this moment. And we saw it happen earlier on the outside, Brittany. I don't think Diego De La Cruz is very smart oh. doing this. That, that is just firing off the champion. And look at him. Look at him. Oh, he caught Diego's arm. Oh, oh now he's on his back. He's on his back. Hold. You can't breathe. You can't fight. I'm not quite sure if it's under the chin. But Alexa Grasso proved that you don't need to be under the chin to win a championship. Diego De La Cruz could be just moments away from bringing that title to La Familia. Oh no, look at this. Again, the strength. Oh, right into the corner. No, right back to that knee. Ace again. On the back. On the back. Back into a sleeper hold. Oh, oh, oh. Just slams him right down. The amount of pain that shoots straight up your spine. As you can see, Cruz not moving a lick here. Being the first man to be able to get back up using the ropes to get back up to a vertical base. Diego de la Cruz has made it to his feet as well, and here he comes. Oh. But he gets caught running into that big boot. Oh! Ryan Davidson said, I got you, and that he did. A big line taking the head off of Cruz. Oh, oh goodness! And here we go. He's looking for it. That bear trap fish oh. right to the grill. Cover. One, two, and still no. Oh. Two and 15 sixteenths. Ryan was ready to call that, but oh no. Stalking Cruz. Well, the Cruz is in major trouble here. Oh. oh! Just one step ahead is Ryan Davidson at every turn. Oh, oh. Ryan Davidson not able to get that scoop slam that he always looks for. Oh. There it is! Ooh. Close one, cover. One, two, and no! Brad, when he got it, he got it, but he didn't oh, have the power. Have you ever seen a bear fly? I mean, I recently have you watched, ever seen a bear fly? I recently watched Cocaine Bear, so kind of. He's wanting to put the exclamation point to the end of this sentence. Oh no! Ryan the oh. oh. Cover! One, two, three, and still. Two for two.
That championship at Christmas Chaos, Ryan Davidson continues his undefeated ways. Dio De La Cruz with a hell of an effort, but it was not enough for the Grizzled Fan. That spiral splash is a thing of beauty. No matter how many times I see it, it always just blows me away. It always blows me away as well. Ryan Davidson victorious here on a night of champions. And still to come in our main event, Thomas Braxton, GG Ray for the vacant Reality Wrestling Diamonds Championship. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait What's a minute. going on? It looks like a fan just jumped the ropes. What is going a fan, on? A fan just jumped. Wait a minute. No, that's not a fan. That's, that's Emilio it. Tovar. Emilio Tovar. Emilio Tovar, who was just assaulted recently by La Familia, comes in and jumps Diego from behind. Get back in. And then hightails it out of here. I mean, you can't blame him after what happened, the treachery to Emilio, but kicking a man when he's down. It's kind of what they did to him, though, Brittany. Oh, Diego De La Cruz coming up short, and then get jumped afterward. More reality wrestling, don't go anywhere. <laughs>